In this video, we will cover how to indicate Azure OpenAI with Spring AI. First thing what we have to do is go to start.spring.io and from here we have to add Azure OpenAI dependency. So this we can add it using Azure OpenAI. Then we need to add another dependency to create our endpoint which is going to be Spring Web. Other thing what I wanted to highlight is we have to click on this explore and we have to see like which particular version of Spring AI has been used over here. So that we can get to know from this section. So this is going to be 1.0. 0.0-m1 and accordingly then we have to go to the documentation we do have the two versions of spring ai one is going to be snapshot which is a current version and which is a stable version so if you want to use the snapshot version then we have to add the dependencies manually and by default it's going to take this particular dependency so we are just going to this documentation and here you can see it's stating that this is still in development so some of the features may not be available over here everything is good from azure open ai perspective so what we need to do is go to spring ai api then have to click on this chat model api and once you click on this chat model api you will see this azure open ai we have to just click on azure open ai and then you would be able to see the documentation around this now the most important part is how to configure to use the azure open ai in your application so there are few important configuration that we have to do if you want to utilize the azure open ai so we will go to their property section and here you can see first thing what we have to pass is azure open ai api key this is going to be different from what we do get in open ai api key other important configuration or property which we have to pass is going to be azure open ai endpoint on top of that the other important configuration that we have to pass is deployment name and here you can see it's important to note that within Azure OpenAI deployment, the deployment name is distinct from the model itself. To get some understanding around this deployment name and model name, so we can go to this particular article and this is related to Azure OpenAI article and how the model is getting deployed. The model is getting deployed using Azure OpenAI Studio in Azure OpenAI case. If you open this Azure AI Studio and if you go to the model section, you can just see all the models which are available for deployment. So these are going to be the models name like gpt gpt 35 turbo gpt 4 o mini or gpt 4 all those models name are going to be available over here then what we have to do is if you want to leverage or utilize any of the models from the model section then you have to take that model and we have to deploy it before we can actually use it so once you deploy this then the specific model is going to be reflected in the deployment section so here earlier it was in the model sections and here you can just click on the create new deployment and then deploy that model or maybe in your enterprise the models would be available for your use you you may not to do all this by yourself so the models needs to be deployed first and as soon as the model gets deployed it comes in the deployment section and under the deployment section then you can see there is something called deployment name and then the model name and the version in this case the deployment name could be a custom name and it could be totally different from the model name so your model name could be gpt35 turbo which is the actual model name but deployment team you can just configure it like gpt35 turbo demo or 35 turbo app so this particular name is configurable and this you can provide it based on your requirement or your wish so that's why it is clearly stated in the documentation the deployment name is different from the model name now with all this information in mind we can just go ahead and try to configure our application dot properties and first thing what we have to pass is our open api key as we have seen in the documentation the next thing what we have to pass is our azure open ai endpoint and this endpoint would look something like this where at the last you are going to have a open ai dot azure dot com and then your azure open ai options deployment name so again when we are talking talking about the deployment name we are not talking about this model name we are talking about the deployment name and this could be a custom with all this configured rest of the things are going to be same so once we configure the application dot properties we can create our ai service class and here actually we have put a very basic code so in this case you can see we are auto wiring the azure open ai chat model and this is coming from the dependency instead of azure open ai chat model you can also try to use just chat model 
and this would also work fine we can just go ahead with the azure open a chat model and then we have just created a function which is going to take the category and year passing a prompt and providing this category and year variable and just asking okay please provide me best book for the given category and year the details should be in the json format and it should be having all this information so because we have defined these two variables so we have to map it out so we are just adding those variables over here as we have seen earlier and then actually we are just creating a prompt using this template and ultimately we are going to get the output in the string format and for that we have to navigate you to content section and this is coming over here on top of that i have just created a controller and this is going to be my endpoint azure ai query under that we are just auto wiring our services which we have created over here now i can go to my postman and just pass two query params category and year and i can just go ahead and you know select the post endpoint and just try to run this so before that i just need to run my code so i will go to this code and i will just run it now the code is up and running what i can do like i can go to my postman and i can just try to hit this endpoint and you can see here we have got the output i can just select json from here and you can see category book year review author summary so everything is coming as expected some other configuration what you can try suppose if you want the output to be in the json format then you have to pass this specific property and when we are passing this property then you have to go to application.properties file you just have to mention the json so you can either pass json or you can either pass text if you want the output to be generated in the json or text format it's a bit different how we were passing the instruction in the open ai so it was supposed to be json object when we are passing it but here the configuration is going to be json you also need to be aware of it like whatever model you are deploying you should be having support for json mode as well so these are the different things that you can try on so this is the basic demo how to integrate spring ai with open ai so that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching